shout out to my homies Lestoria. Oh, this side. Lestoria Productions. RC and Jeff Walker. Amazing filmmakers. They were instrumental in getting my first feature off the ground fair and uh, just feeling the love for the story today. Put it on the hat. Just turning it back because, you know, I don't know if I can quite pull off this look. A little more my style. Um, but they're, they're the kings of swag. Free publicity. Genius. Man, it's been an awesome April. Uh, as I come to the end of April, it's been packed. I've had tons of work. Most notably this new full-time creative contracting gig with this uh, St. Louis company that I will be really spending a lot of my year doing, really excited about. Uh, again, I've talked about that before, and um, it's contract, so I'm still here in Charlotte and still able to do other projects, but I'll be limiting a lot of the other projects and just doing smaller stuff. Still got acting gigs coming through, but most of my uh, nine to five will be focused on doing creative marketing content for this company, uh, at least through the year. But um, they uh, they are excited about me and my film projects. I'll be still spending a month in New York in June for premise. That is coming along. So excited that that film is coming together. Um, you know, you're just never quite sure if a film is gonna come together until it's coming together. So you don't wanna count your eggs before they're hatched. But uh, yeah, I think we, we can start counting those eggs. The team is assembling, the financing's coming in, and we are barreling towards a June principal photography start for premise. More on that later. Been uh, talking to a lot of people about just the idea of moving to LA and uh, you know moving to where the sausage is made, so to speak. And I think it's something that people should really think about and consider. Um, you know, LA is, is respective to the film industry. So that's obviously what this vlog's about, is about film. But it's also, you know, could be applied to kind of moving to where the action is for whatever industry you're in. Certainly Atlanta's growing. However, the, the sausage is still made, unfortunately, in LA. All the top above the line talent is mostly coming from LA. Um, but you can really be a working actor, filmmaker, but the line crew in Atlanta as well. Austin, New York, other good cities for film. I do believe that, you know, if you got the goods, you're going to make it. And if you want it bad enough, you're going to make it. And that's sort of what I'm betting on myself as someone who doesn't live in L.A. I live in Charlotte. I believe I've got the goods and I believe I am getting the goods more and more every day and I believe my drive, determination will get me to where I want to be. However, I am acutely aware that it will be harder for me and it could take longer for me because I don't live in LA. So a lot of my friends who are not tied down, who are just weighing, should I move there? Should I move to Atlanta? Should I move out of the non-film city into a film city? I say, if you can, do it. If you got the goods, you will get there. But if you want to make it, you want to set yourself up for every piece of success. You want to eliminate every obstacle. Living in those cities is one way to eliminate the obstacles. It will just get you there quicker. It's still about your skill. It's still about your talent. The organic interactions that you make is so key to making it in any industry, film included. And being in a city where those can be exponentially accelerated is just gonna set yourself up uh, quicker. Certainly, and if you're looking to get agents, have meetings with companies, studios, all of those are in LA, so you're gonna be flying out there sometime. And for me and my family, part of the deal for us, you know, is just an understanding that when I need to go to LA, even if it's for just a meeting, then I do it. I mean, I once flew to LA to have a 30 minute conversation with CAA that was the biggest waste of my time. I've never felt so blown off in my life. But I had the meeting, had the sit down, it was a good experience, and I was able to tack some other stuff onto it so it wasn't just there and back for the meeting, but that's essentially the impetus, that was essentially the impetus for the trip. Uh, I'm not saying that was a good, efficient use of time, but, um, you know, you gotta kinda be available to do that if you're not gonna live there. Um, you know, and the reason I'm not there is because I have a wife and kids and we've got, you know, roots and a life here in Charlotte that we love. And there are some things, you know, more important than my ambition. Being happy, having a good family, um, having a good community here is something that's important to us. We have that and I'm not going to just trade that in 
to make it easier on my career. Uh, I'm gonna have to work harder. It could take longer, but I still have confidence in myself that I'll get to where I wanna be. Um, so this isn't about telling you you need to move. This is about confirming in those of you who are watching whether should I move, if you're open to it, if you're on the fence about it, let this be the thing that pushes you over and say, you know what, you should probably move. If you know you got the goods, if you know you can put the work and the time in and you want to eliminate every obstacle, you want to set yourself up for every piece of success, then living in those cities is just going to enable you to do that better.